Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another awesome video on the channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing another what if. And the majority of the videos I'm going to be doing today are going to be what if, considering I stated that I was going to start this series very soon last night. So here I am again with another what if. Uh, but before I do end up getting into it, I do want to thank you guys for all of the support on the channel. I do appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me. It's it's really awesome, and just by the views I got on my What If videos talking about the series and somebody actually subscribed, I can tell you guys are very interested in this series, so I'm going to be doing it a lot more often because the videos are really awesome to make. Um, but yeah, uh, without further ado, uh, let's get into it. This What If is... Going to be uh, in Ninjago Season 5 Possession. What if Moral never died? And basically what I mean by that is that, of course, at the uh, at, at, towards the end of the season when Nia unlocked her full potential and she just demolished the preeminent, the preeminent took Moral down with him. Uh, with her into the water, and of course he evaporated because water evaporates ghosts in Ninjago. Um, so what if that never happened? Because as he was going down, Master Wu came to save his first student, and 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 Moral actually ended up like understanding why he wasn't the Green Ninja. And basically why um, why Master Wu was trying to save him because Master Wu knew that there was good in him still. But there was no time left. What if Moral understood that and figured that out before that preeminent ever got knocked down in the first place? What if Moral understood what his sensei was trying to say? And, and basically, overall, stuff like that. Like, what if it was to the point that everything that, pre everything that the preeminent did, Moral now knows it's bad. So he tries to help the ninja with his master, Master Wu, to stop the preeminent. What if that happened? You see, this is why the whole series is what if. What if this happens? Um, so what if that ends up happening? Like, what if that comes in to the whole thing? Because then, because then, if you think about it, considering Moral's still a ghost, even though he's a ghost, he never had to die. That's the thing. Is that technically... If that went the way that that was supposed to, where he snapped out of it and, 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 and he knew what was right and wrong and he stopped his selfishness over, mad, over being mad because he wasn't the Green Ninja and listened to what his sensei had to say and, and truly understand that he's all he's trying to do is help him. Um, he would probably be alive right now in the next seasons of Ninjago after season five. And the, he could be part of the ninja team. I mean, he doesn't have to be a ninja, but he'll be there to help. So, but that time just never came. But that's why I make these videos, which of course are what if, which is like a what if scenario, uh, if this actually ended up happening at that point in time in that Pacific season and episode. But yeah, that's all I have today for you guys. Um, I hope you guys do end up enjoying the video. I appreciate everybody who watched the video all the way to the end. And overall, thank you guys for all the support on the channel. You guys are awesome. But yeah, that's it though. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.